So a while back, I made a video in German talking all about uh, taking breath in and why it's so important when we're singing to get a deep, full breath that goes all the way around. So I'm going to do that video now in English so that uh, those who couldn't understand very much of that one but enjoyed the visuals of it can now actually understand exactly what I was saying. So basically, um, I think of breath as being sort of a responsive situation. You use the air up, you feel really like empty, and your body's response to that vacuum of your lungs being empty, because the lungs work like a vacuum, if you use the air, then you have to take a new one. That's the thing that prompts you. So my goal with singing is always to use up as much air as I can, within reason, and it usually feels like you're out of air even when you're not, you're not out of air. There's like another 25% residual just in case. Um, so I use up all the air I can, and then I try to allow that last little bit to go and really get out so that when I take my next breath, that it's a nice, full, commanding, uh, useful breath that I can then carry another long phrase on. So anyway, I've just tucked in my shirt so you guys can see a little better. It's not the most tight shirt, but it gives you an idea. It's not as good as the crop top in the last video. My apologies. Um, but uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths so you guys can see me letting all my air out and then allowing the vacuum of my lungs to demand a new breath. So I don't ever think of um, taking a breath. We're not taking air out of the, the earth. We're allowing a breath to fall into our bodies. So it will naturally fall in when you need it. And so allowing it to be a bit more of a natural, like I need an air, a, a breath, so I'm going to allow one to come into my body. And I'm going to use up the air so that there's that impetus again, that need again to take a new breath. So I'm going to take a couple of breaths just to show you guys what I mean. Um, one of the things I really like to focus on with my students and with myself, because I'm always teaching myself and taking lessons as well, is that breath is an inner tube. It's not just that I'm breathing right here, not just up here, not just down there. It's all the way around that I wanna release. So letting out all my air. You see how I kind of get a little taller, my spine lengthens, everything comes forward here. This part gets nice and full. It's a little taut as a result. We want to allow ourselves to not, not flatter ourselves with vanity and be like, oh no, I have to look really thin. I need to be really tiny in my corset because I've got this really fancy gown. Well, gowns hide a lot. And audition apparel hides a lot if we buy the right things. So the goal is to not be so concerned about what I look like and be more concerned about how I feel. Singing should feel good and breathing should feel good while singing. So if you're doing it right, although it feels like a fair amount of like coordination at first, therefore in a way work, because you have to focus on it mentally and physically, but it's not hard work. It's not like, it's like, oh, that's so relieving. I can take a deep breath and now I can use it for a very long phrase in which I'll keep speaking and not take a new breath because I have enough air, even more than I think I do, and now I will take a breath. And the next phrase can be even longer because so I took a better breath and I feel really, really full in my ribs. And the thing is you really want to do, allow your ribs to expand and a fantastic opera singer. I don't want to call it a trick because it's not like it's a fake out, like, oh, it's just a trick, but it is kind of like a little, that's a little tip from me is, and this is something I've learned from pretty much every opera teacher I've ever taken with is to keep the ribs open as long as you can. So they will expand when you're breathing. They feel nice and beautiful and open, not just high, but opened out because I've taken that inner tube. Now, as I use up things, if I'm singing an opera phrase, I really would, and I think every phrase probably, I really do want to keep them open as long as possible so that they're like the last thing to come in so that I'm using this air down here first residually and then kind of like a tube of toothpaste, I'm allowing the bottom to empty out and finally allowing the ribs to then come in. So that's basically... Um, an example of breathing and I'm going to show you guys from the back as well because I do I'm not sure how visible it is in the shirt but I do think there's a lot of expansion happening so breathing my out so you can see that the ribs open up like that and that's that inner tube it's so so important to do that breathing is essentially the most important part of singing as singers we are 
breathers and auditioners. <laughs> um, those are our two main jobs. When we're not uh, working or even when we are, it's auditioning and breathing a lot. Tone is of course an element of it, but it actually isn't the most important foundational element. The foundation for good singing is good breathing and then letting it release gently and slowly, which is doing things like those little exercises, which I'll cover in a different video, which I think most people end up starting with in their voice lessons. There is a great reason for those. And the reason is allowing yourself to gently, slowly, 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 slowly let the air out. That'll give you those long phrases. So we'll cover that in the next video, but I wanted to make sure to talk to you guys about breathing today and I'll see you around soon. Happy holidays.